Welcome to this CIS 101 video about drawing uh, images. And in this case, I'm going to draw a square cat on an image. And you can see down here, I made an empty picture that's 800 by 800 pixels. And then I call my draw square, square cat and I explore it. Now, before I show you the result, I just uh, have three rectangles. One is a field rectangle that's orange, and then two smaller rectangles for the ears. Now, you probably can do this in your head, but if you're having a hard time, just grab a piece of paper and draw roughly the shape you want to do, and then figure out the coordinates of where you want the top corners of your shape, and then how big you want your shape. So I figured I'd start my orange face at 50 pixels from the left and 80 pixels down. And then I figured that it would be 60 pixels wide and 70 pixels high. Then for this, I had to do some calculation. I knew that this is 50, 80, and I had to figure, well, I want the ear to be a little bit offset to the left and a little bit higher. So I took 10 pixels off of both the X coordinate and the Y coordinate to bring the top of this uh, box here. I had to do similar calculations for this. If you're having a hard time doing that in your head, don't worry, just grab a piece of paper, draw your uh, shape that you want to, and then try to figure out coordinates of where they would be uh, based on this being the origin up here. So let's say that I now have one cat and I want to draw another cat over here. So what I could do is I can copy and paste these and calculate new coordinates for all the positions. But what if we want 100 different cats in our picture? Well, that will be very tedious to figure out all the coordinates. Maybe we can use programming to help us out. Now, instead of always drawing the images in the same position, we can have our draw square or cat function take in coordinates. That way we can decide, use these coordinates to decide where we're going to put our rectangles. To help me out in, that pro in this process, I'm going to translate or slide this cat to the very top corner of my picture. The way I'm going to do that, this is his top left ear, and so this is the very top corner, and notice it's 40, 70. Let me make a note of that. So the X uh, position or the leftmost position is 40 and the topmost position is 70. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tra subtract 40, 70 from all of my X and Y positions. So the 50, 80 becomes 10, 10. This becomes 0, 0. And down here, this becomes 60, 0. And now with those changes, let's rerun our program. So if I don't make a new picture, then my old cat will still be on there. So I'm going to make a new picture. And so now I've, uh, since I've included X and Y, I'm not using X and Y in here at all, but since I've included it, I just need to add some numbers here to be able to call the function. And of course, I'm completely ignoring it, but now when I, now when I explore my picture, you can see that my cat is in the very top left corner. Now let's stop ignoring our X and Y, and let's use these to position our cat. Basically, we want to slide our cat from the top corner this many pixels to the right and this many pixels down. So to do that, all we have to do is add X to all of our X coordinates. And now it's kind of silly to say zero plus X, that's obviously just X, so we don't have to add anything there. And then we can add Y to all of our Y coordinates. And of course, if it's zero, you don't have to add zero to Y. So let's load our program and run that again. This time, I'm not ignoring the X and Y coordinates. They're going to slide that cat to where I want it. And now you can see that he's been slid down and over. Now if I want to draw a square cat in a different location, I can just call the draw square square cat function again and include different coordinates. Maybe 200 pixels to the left and 150 pixels down. And we can explore. And now we have the two cats. So I could just take the functions that I typed out down here and put them up here in a function and I can just call its floor call that function and now I have two cats on my canvas
Now, if I want to draw lots of cats on my canvas, I can just repeat this line for every cat I want to draw. But it could get a little tedious, so if we want to repeat something, we pull out our tools, which are loops. Now, we can do this with both a for loop and a while loop. I'll show you the for loop first. And you can see I, I have a loop for position in range. We're going to start at 0, go to 800, and we're going to count by 50. That means we're going to go 0, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, all the way up to 750. Remember, we don't include the last one. And this is, how my, this is why we're adding 50, because of my third parameter. So now we'll see a square cat that will start there. And notice I'm using the position as my x coordinate. And then I'm subtracting 30 from it to kind of offset the y coordinate. So let's see how that looks. I'm going to load my program and run that again. And you can see I have cats that go diagonally down. If you notice, the first cat is off the screen. And that's because I'm subtracting 30 from the top. So the very first cat will be negative 30. And in this case, if you go off the canvas, it doesn't crash your program. You ju it just clips that top part of the cat off. In this case, when we use a for loop, we're able to calculate exactly how many cats and where they want, are supposed to be before we run our for loop. Now, we can also use a while loop where we don't have to make that uh, calculation. We can just keep drawing cats until I fall off the edge of my picture. So with the while loop, we're going to have an x position and a y position. And while the x position is less than 800 because my canvas is 800, and my y position is less than 800, keep trying to square cat. Now, if I were to do this, I'd get caught in an infinite loop because x position and y position do not change. All I have to do is add something to each one, and maybe we'll increase our x position by 20, and we'll increase our y position by uh, 15. And so we could go ahead and load our program and see what that does to our image. Make sure I use canvas, not image, of my program and try that again. And now you can see I have lots of cats that go diagonally down. Now this probably doesn't look very good. We probably want to increase the space between our cats. So maybe we'll increase it by 80 in our X position and 200 in our Y position. I have uh, four cats. And notice it just stopped when the cat fell off the edge of the screen. So that's a, a nice difference between a for loop that uh, you calculate beforehand how many cats you're going to have and where they're going to be versus a while loop where you can just keep going until a certain condition is met.